In Ontario, we have over 200 plant and animal species listed as at risk of disappearing from the wild forever. But landowners, working together with biologists and local community groups, are striving to reduce that number one species at a time. The pugnose shiner, a small slender minnow, is listed as threatened under Ontario Species at Risk Act. In Canada, it is found in only a few sites in southern Ontario. Here at the old Osable Channel, conservationists and landowners are doing everything they can to protect this species and its habitat. The pugnose shiner has a dark lateral black stripe uh, that extends from its snout all the way across its body to its tail. Its most distinguishing feature and what distinguishes it from other shiners in the province is it has a very small upright mouth that is very vertical compared to the rest of its body axis. Loss of habitat and habitat degradation is the principal reason that they are threatened. And uh, things that are factoring into that would be inputs of sediment, nutrients, invasive species like carp, and also uh, invasive plants that are sort of outcompeting those native uh, aquatic vegetations that they need. Um, they really require um, very still clear, high quality water and dense aquatic vegetation. If it is present in a water body, it's indicating good environmental conditions. And if it's not there or it's declining, then that could indicate that um, there's something going on that we need to look further into. As a resident of the area, it's uh, very important that we uh, keep the, uh, the water that we uh, all uh, need to live uh, in a good condition. So I think it's very important. We've been fortunate to have uh, the Conservation Authority uh, take water samples from our property, uh, water levels, and record all that data. And they've been doing that for a number of years, and it's been very uh, helpful in establishing uh, whether we're getting better with what the water quality is or whether it's uh, deteriorating. So um, landowners uh, that have properties or are nearby to pugnose shiners and other aquatic species at risk can work on reducing uh, nutrients and sediment getting in, like gr things like greening their shoreline, riparian buffers, um, that won't allow those sediments and nutrients to enter the waterway. Um, in an urban setting such as we are here, we're, well, we're in the provincial park, but there um, are landowners upstream that have houses adjacent to this water body, things like reducing uh, fertilizer getting in um, from your lawn thing, and keeping your septics in good repair, those are good things to do. We have some landowners that we work with, and I, I'll use the term citizen science. They provide us with um, some information about the habitat. They've allowed us onto their properties to take um, measurements of the habitat. They house equipment for us, and in some cases have actually helped us with some of the sampling. I think anybody that uh, has an appreciation for the environment, uh, the education that they can get from it, just, just get involved and, and find out what's in your backyard and find out what you can do to uh, maintain that and, and protect that for the next generation.